Heavy winds are no joke. I feel like we were all saying that yesterday. It caused structural damages and evacuations across the bay, just like this one we're seeing right here. So let's look back at that pg &E outage map, and we're zooming into the peninsula here. It's one of the most affected parts of the bay right now, with almost 42,000 customers without power. That's a lot of people. There's no estimated time of restoration. Jocelyn Moran is live in Burlingame. She's been there all morning for us. Where Jocelyn, are you even seeing lights come on at any homes there yet? Not yet, Amanda, but like you said, a lot of people saying these winds are no joke. I also heard these winds are something else. I know I was saying that all day yesterday, but this is what we're dealing with here in Berlin game. Good news, crews are out here cleaning up these trees, but unfortunately we are seeing some damage to the cars, to homes here as well, and this is not uncommon as far as what we saw in the Bay Area yesterday. This was throughout the peninsula, throughout the bay, those down trees. I want to take you to some video. This is actually of Redwood City here, and you can see just all of that mess that these strong winds caused yesterday. You could hear it. You could feel it if you were driving. Now, this if you, uh, you can see as this person is driving throughout Redwood City, you can see those down power lines, even a light pull down, and PG&E crews there as well working to restore power. When it comes to those down trees, though, it felt like crews could barely keep up. There could would be cones by those trees like you see right there. That was until crews could get to them and many tree branches were out on the roadways. There was actually an electrical fire too on El Camino and Rosedale involving down power lines that burned a newly installed residential fence. Firefighters put out new fires at this spot as the electricity came back on. Throughout the day it was kind of getting smaller, getting bigger. You could actually eventually and about an hour later you could hear the electricity like actually sparking. Um, and shocks were kind of flying everywhere. At one time, the electrical cord was hissing and making kind of like an S in the air. Right, so obviously a very scary situation for residents, and people were in similar situations throughout the Bay Area. Now, before power can even be restored for a lot of people, Crews have to get out here and really clean up these trees. That's what we're seeing here in Burlingame. But we've been talking about those power outages all morning long because there are so many people affected. If you do go to that outage map and you zoom into your area, some areas do have estimated time for restoration, but that could even be until 11 p.m. tonight. Unfortunately, other areas really have no estimated time here. Amanda. I mean, hopefully sooner the better for everyone affected by this. Jocelyn, thanks for that live report. Yeah. Gianna.